Hello. You might have seen me having coconut oil early in the morning. Sometimes I spread it on my toast or sometimes I just have it with a spoon. I make it at home. So there are many benefits of coconut oil. Uh, for instance, if you believe in oil pulling, you can use this coconut oil and if you have any bacteria in your mouth, it can prevent that. You can apply it on eczema. It's excellent for skin. If you have a wound, it's, it can soothe the irritation and help in healing as well. It's believed that coconut oil has excellent benefits for brain disorders due to its medium chain triglycerides, MCTs, um, disorders like Alzheimer's and epilepsy as well. I have used it for my children's hair growth to prevent hair fall and believe me it does wonders. For hair massage what you have to do is apply oil in the roots and then uh, massage it for 5 minutes or 10 minutes however long you want and then tilt the head down and then when the head is down massage it for 10-15 minutes and if you can do it every day, day that's excellent otherwise do it alternate day it does miracles. Now let me show you how to make it at home. I have taken 10 coconuts, peeled them and taken the meat of it and shredded it very fine. Now I'm going to add it to the blender. I'll take about half a blender, add lukewarm water to it. Lukewarm water helps us to take out more milk from the coconut. We don't want hot and we don't want cold. I've taken this fabric, this is thin muslin fabric and this is wet and I have folded it 3-4 times. Now this is the blended meat and we are going to squeeze it and take out all the milk from it. Here you can see we have squeezed it and here is the coconut milk. And see this is what's left behind, very dry coconut meat. Now we are going to repeat the process. Again take coconut, add water, blend it and then squeeze it. Now you have to squeeze it as much as possible again and again squeeze out all the liquid again and again And you can see that here is the dry coconut meat compared to the fresh coconut meat. It's absolutely dry. There's no liquid left in it. And here is the coconut milk. Now this coconut milk, you can drink it if you've used drinking water. Now if you see any peels just remove it because this can spoil your blender and we don't need that. Here is also another one just remove it and all the meat has been blended and now we are going to place this pan in the fridge for about 24 hours so that the cream thickens and leaves the water behind. This is the next day. Now you can see that the cream has hardened on top. It has created a thick 
layer on top and the liquid is under it. We will throw all the liquid we have to throw all of the liquid and here you can see the cream has after the water has been thrown it has gone down and I will show you how thick this cream is here you can see this is nice fresh cream if you want you can eat it as is it's very fresh and now we are cooking the coconut cream to make coconut oil keep the flame medium not very high not very low and after one hour this is the condition the cream has started to separate from the liquid we'll cook it some more here you can see and now it has started turning red when it starts to turn red you need to keep the flame very low the oil is separating you can see here see keep the flame low otherwise it can burn your coconut oil so here we have strained it now there's some red part left in the oil we'll pour the oil in the bottle and for the red part we'll we've placed this fabric so that it doesn't go in the oil and here is your fresh coconut oil homemade and absolutely delicious